Alright, what's up guys? This is me and Ryan, and I can't help but smile because we just uh, found out that the iPod Touch 4 just uh, came out in the keynote. It was released uh, September 1st, 2010. Uh, to my knowledge, it's already ready for shipping. Um, usually they ship after they're released, maybe a month after, but this one, uh, I've been on the Apple website browsing for a few minutes, and it looks like it is ready to ship. So, we're just going to go over some of the features that have been updated. It's really a big update, guys. It's almost everything that we've put in our prediction video. It's almost anything you could really hope for from an iPod. Actually more. Yeah. Because I actually put an HD camera yeah, on it. Yeah, we, so, uh, we're going to get a little closer to the laptop and show you what it looks like. The Apple site, and as you can see, there's a few iPod touches on here. Uh, as you can see, they have FaceTime now. They have a, a camera on the front. And they have an HD camera on the back. And it looks from here, um, yeah, there's not really many specs out yet because it's just brand new, but it looks like the camera is, um, you probably already know this because it's the same camera that's on the iPhone, but it is able to take still shots as well as 720p high definition video. You see the slider right here. You probably can't see it, but I can see it. It's the toggle on the video player. So it's essentially the iPhone 4 in every aspect, except it doesn't have the cellular radio, but it has basically every other feature. Um, one had, thing I'm noticing right off the bat is that there is no uh, LED flash, so it looks like you're going to have to do without the flash, which is um, something to consider. You can see here that the backing looks a little bit different. It's still, it still looks chrome, but wouldn't it, you say it looks a little bit no, different? No, no, it looks more squared off to fit the the uh, the more uh, like stuff inside of it. Internal? Sense. Yeah. Possibly a bigger battery. Um, it's not really specified yet, but... Here, let me read you the short uh, thing they have on it here. Uh, with we added all our most advanced features to iPod Touch, just for the fun of it. Share good times with friends over FaceTime, shoot scenes in HD, or play games on the highest re resolution iPod screen ever. In fact, iPod Touch is so much technology you'll forget that it's an iPod. So basically what they're trying to get at here is, they're trying to, I think they're trying to expand this device to not just an iPod anymore. It's, it's becoming a pocket computer, a gaming device, pretty much you can use it for almost anything these days. It's pretty amazing. Oh yeah, it has the Retina display, which I uh, mentioned in my uh, predictions video, which is on the iPhone. It's a very nice screen. It's probably the best screen on a mobile device right now. I believe it's um 90, 980 by four nine sixty by four eighty. Uh, yeah, pixels. something like that. It's ridiculous. I mean, if you've ever seen one on the iPhone four, it's going to be the exact same one. Uh, it's going to. I mean, the uh, screen on the regular on the the previous iPods were ridiculous. It was really high quality, but this one's just gonna go above and beyond in that aspect. So these are basically highlighting the main points that uh, Apple is doing it, and it has HD video recording and editing. It looks like which is very nice. It's basically a pocket HD camcorder on your iPod. So and it looks right right here. You can buy the editing software from the App Store for five dollars. So that means you can do short videos, almost like you do on a Mac, like uh, iMovie. Uh, like a mobile version of it and that's really cool because if you want to just edit a video and then you can email it probably when you hit Wi-Fi so that's that's really cool so well. if you were considering buying a flip or a um, Kodak Zi8 HD camcorder you might want to reconsider and just get this because you're getting the HD camcorder and a bunch of added features and also you can see on the front it has a front facing camera uh, I don't think it's very high res I think it might be 1.3 megapixels or it could even be 0.3 that's besides the point. That's only for the application called FaceTime. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's on the iPhone 4. Basically, what it lets you do is talk face to face with one of your friends over the Wi Fi network. You can also flip the uh, view around to the outside facing camera if you want to show a more high res uh, picture to whoever you're chatting with. Um, here's Game Center. It's, uh, I perceive it to be like Xbox Live, kind of. It's an online game center for the iPod Touch, you can probably communicate with friends. I'm not really sure what it does yet because it hasn't been released, but I'm hoping you can do cross-game chat with the mics on the cameras. I think it'd be a really nice application. Um, next thing we have is we have music and movies and TV shows, but that's already been on. I here. think they're just trying to like 
for first time buyers. Yeah, they're trying. I mean, it's still an iPod. It's still an iPod Touch. It's essentially an iPod Touch with these added features. I mean, if you look at it, you're not going to see much of a difference. If you take a quick glance at it, well, you're going to say, "Wow, that's a third gen or that's a second gen." I mean, the casing on the back we talked about looks a little bit different. Here's some more. It's got um, iBooks, iMovie, so you can edit videos. That's on what we were board. talking about earlier. It's called um, iMovie. If you have a Mac, you of course. This is a what great it is. device. It's and then uh, they're just insane. reiterating. Yeah, so uh, it'll be running uh, iOS four, so and it'll be able to multitask backgrounds, exactly uh, folders. And um, one thing it does have is it's just been updated with the uh, A four chip. It's a custom design chip by Apple, and it runs at one gigahertz, which means it'll handle any application that you need. It'll it'll do anything. I mean, there there's endless things that it's doing right now. I mean, it is. I I'm just keep scrolling down, and it just keeps showing me new things, and I'm really finding out as it's now. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna look. Are there any more features down here? Voice memos. Oh, now you can uh, record voice memos without having the. Uh, yeah, because you can use the mic on the camera. Exactly. Yeah. So and we're gonna get into pricing now. Is that you have anything else to add? No, I'm good. Okay. So from a price standpoint, it's actually I find it amazing. Where do you where do you go? Go to the store. Um, I find it amazing that they've kept the price. I, I, like I can't even I, I don't even know what to say because it's really amazing on their part. Um, the eight gigabyte model was previously two hundred dollars, and when I bought my eight gigabyte uh, second gen, it was also two hundred and thirty dollars. Well, what you have to note is that the last eight gigabyte was just a two was just a second generation. Yeah, it was just it didn't have any of the upgraded processor that the uh, third gen had. But now the eight gigabyte. Uh, we did predict that they were going to keep a lower model, the 8 gigabyte, but they've surprised us and they've actually put everything they're going to put in the 32 and 64 in the 8 gigabyte. So that means the FaceTime, the Retina display, the HD video recording, and the Game Center, um, the front-facing camera for FaceTime and everything, and it's really the same. But uh, from a pricing standpoint, the 8 gigabyte is 229, uh, the 32 gigabyte is 299, and the 64 gigabyte is 399. So. You may be wondering if you should buy this. I'd say if you're satisfied with your third generation, then you should probably keep that for a while. But if you have a second gen or a first gen, it's definitely a great buy. It has so many added features. I mean, I, I don't know. You, you should definitely be careful by, with buying one because I'm sure it has the, uh, the... It looks like it has the chrome back still, and I don't know if uh, many manufacturers have a case out for it yet, so... When you get it, you, you make sure when you take it out, you don't like throw it around or even put it on your carpet because it'll scratch. It's The back is really not good at all. So, I mean, it's actually inevitable, but I mean, it looks like they changed the volume rocker just a tad. I don't think that's going to make much of a difference. It's not connected anymore. It's two separate buttons. Wait, where's the Wi-Fi antenna? And they've obviously made the Wi-Fi antenna internal. Which is weird, but um, so if you have a first gen or a second gen, I'd recommend buying it. If you have a third gen, I'd also recommend buying it, but only if you have the money and the need. If you're just using it for an iPod, then obviously you shouldn't be buying it. All right, guys. So that's um that's what we have to say on the new iPod Touch. Um, we're gonna make another video talking about the whole keynote with the other iPods added. So thanks for watching. See you later.